Um, so today I wanted to take a quick look at uh, basically Russia and all the telephone companies and kind of the infrastructure going on here. Um, I put this kind of at a angle here. Um, so most of Russia is actually out here, but uh, more than 50%, I think, uh, of the population and more than 50% of the economy is basically west of this mountain range right here called the Ural Mountain Range. Um, so I just want to switch uh, here and see if we can look at this infrastructure map. So uh, this is a really cool website, Open Infrastructure Map, openinfromap.org. And uh, it basically shows you, here is Moscow. For some reason, it's not labeled. Uh, but uh, basically, you can kind of see the infrastructure here, mostly electrical power lines and oil lines uh, kind of in this light brown color. Um, and here's kind of the key for that. You can see different types of power lines um, in terms of amount of power being run and then also kind of the... Uh, uh, type of generation, uh, everything from coal to nuclear to oil. Um, so just a cool map to see. Uh, the thing that I like about this map in particular, though, is that if we zoom in here uh, into Moscow, uh, you can start to see some of the cell phone communication. So a lot of the cell phone uh, stuff is done right along the power lines um, just because they would need power anyway. Um, and uh, unfortunately it's taking a little while to load, but here you go. So you can see, uh, Moscow kind of loading in here and I'll just zoom in to the main part of Moscow. And we're essentially going to be looking at this, but, uh, you can imagine if you were a phone company, uh, kind of thinking about, uh, placing, uh, you know, basically a phone, like a phone system in here in Moscow. So little bit hard to see so we're gonna switch off this for a second um, so kind of an interesting start here is uh, the market segmentation for the uh, mobile market in Russia I found this uh, page here on Wikipedia and uh, it kind of made it obvious to me what's going on um, now I do I have tried to just as a disclaimer I have tried to invest in uh, several of these companies um, and uh, but uh, uh, particularly these top two guys here, um, and it was just interesting to kind of do some research uh, with you to study and see. I'm trying to do it as unbiased as possible. Um, but there's this other chart that shows personal computers. So approximately from 2004 it was about 85 percent or 87, and then up to about 90, pretty steady at 93 um, percent, and then local area network percent of the population about 50 percent internet access about 80 percent and so on um and then they have market value for telecommunications here um which all this is very debatable in my opinion um but uh basically this graph came from right here so these are the main companies um i was going to just try to take a look at these really quickly and give a rundown uh these guys are located in moscow and then interestingly, they have actually a different name um, and they're located, it says incorporated in Bermuda and I don't know. So I looked up their website and uh, saw that there looks like they're in the Netherlands there. But anyway, so those are the main uh, guys. And this is just a mobile phone industry in Russia, um, Wikipedia. Uh, so the largest uh, mobile phone operator in Russia is this MTC company. Um, I was pretty unfamiliar with them until recently. And then I tried to put a little bit of money into them, but uh, I was really surprised at their total assets. It's just a lot, right? $15 billion. Their net income being almost a billion here. Um, and that's 65,000 plus employees. Um, so you can see, uh, actually, I even want to load up their website here just to uh, show you what their website looks like. But they got the logos here. Kind of example of what the store looks like in Moscow. One of these horrific metro station stands trying to get customers and kind of a suave new look to a store here over in uh, Armenia. And uh, it looks like they got uh, 
some connections with India, Ukraine, and a bunch of places. This is really detailed and really nice. Uh, just an overview of what's going on here for this company. Someone put a lot of time into this page, which is great. Um, and then uh, we have the stock here, so you can kind of see what's been going on over the years. So this is tracks back to about 2000, um, and uh, you can kind of see. So they've had some uh, better days until recently, and uh, looks like they may even drop a little bit further, right? So uh, this was the crash here for coronavirus, and there might even drop even, who knows, they could even go way up too. So... Uh, so over the history, it looks like they've been trading around in there or even up in here. So, uh, but, uh, you know, we don't really know. So, and then down here is a kind of a money flow, which is a volume and price estimator that kind of oscillates between zero and a hundred. Um, so too high or too low and just a balance volume. And then I, I really like the this graph to show kind of what's really going on with the price so you can kind of see uh, how big changes here and big changes here in terms of volume and price so uh, but uh, I'll just show you like where they're located in Russia it's kind of interesting okay so I got their address here in Russia from I think it was the Yahoo page um, and I just double clicked here and it's going to kind of zoom in. I've already zoomed in here before. Um, zooming into Moscow. Now I'm going to just zoom back out here. So this might be nice. I got all these labels on. It's a little bit hard to see. Sorry about that. Um, let me see if I can. This is only the Russian names. I kind of like the Russian names better anyway. So you can kind of see. Now I'm, I'm a little bit familiar with this uh, Volga River. And this really is a major river heading through. It's one of the biggest rivers in the world. And I would say it's even bigger than the Nile my opinion but it heads all the way out here to this is actually the Volga River over here so it's somehow it makes it over here so kind of a strange river I think it probably drains through here too but anyway this is MTB here the largest one in Russia so uh, and we're kind of just zooming in so they have a pretty interesting spot so basically the capital area is down in here and they're a little bit off kind of closer to where the uh, the, the lower end of this so the university systems are kind of over here I think this is a uh, Moscow State University big oh it's entrance oh my gosh and kind of this whole uh, peninsula here and then maybe down in here so it's kind of interesting just to think about Russia and like why it would have uh, kind of evolved mostly on this side of the river and then kind of this smaller part over here with uh, couple interesting things so basically the phone company is kind of on the outside here near uh, kind of the uh, pathway heading down on south here so there's a big couple big roads system you can see so pretty easy to get to work relatively speaking um, but uh, not exactly downtown and kind of a just an interesting little spot so I uh, I did kind of zoom in even closer here to see the street view was interesting and you can kind of see some of the buildings are loading up 3D here. It's probably going to load up even more in a second. But uh, you can kind of see the bridge and a bunch of things happening here. And the street view is pretty interesting. Actually, the, the building right outside, I, I actually want to drop it right about there, closer to the intersection. So you can kind of see. So we're going to look at that, that building there. And uh -huh, it won't even work. So... Don't know what's going on, but uh, but basically that's the spot for MTB. Uh, you can try the street view; it did work before. But uh, I got the Wikipedia entries here and and some other things. So kind of a strange river. It looks a lot like Paris, actually. The river here, um, and uh, yeah. Um, so it might be fun just to take a quick look at their website here, uh, all in Russian. Uh, not even any indication in English here, <laughs> uh, but uh, you can kind of see what their website looks like. Uh, nice Russian website. Um, and uh, yeah, so you could do a translation if you wanted to. We could probably translate this into English, but we'll just leave it like this for now. Uh, so here's kind of the uh, English translated version. 
It's a little bit easier for me to read, but maybe not as interesting, unfortunately. Um, but uh, you can kind of see just the funny different uh, things. Looks like they got some iPhone stuff and different uh, bugs with the translation here. But uh, but anyway, yeah. So um, yeah. So basically, just the the website um, back in <laughs> Russian again, but. Anyway, all right, so I uh, hope you enjoyed this little view of this. Uh, so I'm not really sure what to say, but if you look at, this is the second largest one as in Russia, but so there's kind of some confusion here. So they say the total revenue is about 9.78 billion, and this says about 8.16. So part of the problem is that these guys don't just work in Russia, but uh, maybe they do have a lot of, so they Russia and founded in 1992 here and by this guy and so on so but it says uh you know some some other things so but basically uh uh this would be the number two guy so if you look at here this is these guys here um and then mts is the other one and then we're gonna look at a megaphone hopefully next um but uh uh, but yeah, I, I did get their address. We'll probably look at that. Uh, it's in the Netherlands. Now these guys are particularly having some trouble in recent years. You can see just just dropping for about ten years. So that's that'd be pretty hard for these guys. Um, but uh, basically, yeah. So that's that's you know at a, about a dollar right now. So was uh, pretty solidly stable for a little while kind of going up and down and then finally with coronavirus dropping from about 250 down to 140 and so i was just interested in them and tried to get a couple shares just to kind of see what they're doing um and uh you can see how i got the address here um it's basically from yahoo and the website as well. Their their website looks like this. You can see I gotta accept some cookies here, but uh, and then uh, coronavirus. Um, but uh, but you can kind of see, you know, they got their uh, seventy three million subscribers. Not sure. I think they had that number here. So this is about seventy seven million. But that's just in Russia. So these guys are probably very dominant in Russia. This this other number might be. Uh, some kind of different number but i'm not sure so uh but anyway you can see their uh their website just a little bit different style than the uh mts company um they do have this little sustainable development thing which is nice and uh some other stuff but uh basically their website um and i do have them uh i'll just show you really quick on the uh Thing. So if we double click on this, I already saved the address. We can hopefully zoom on out. Looks like it's not working for me. Okay, so here we are with uh, this <clears throat> megaphone. And uh, interesting thing about them is, uh, so it says about revenue of 6.4. So, um, you know, on this chart that we're looking at, uh, you know, it's basically... Very similar to these other guys, um, and it's surprising because that's a lot of that's just a lot of money um, to think about, um, and uh, their total assets being about what, um, and they have about sixty-two million subscribers, um, and then even some in some other areas, but they're headquartered in Moscow, and I was fortunate to get the address here, so we're going to see if we can grab their address and see where they are at. Uh, so I believe this is their address here, kind of on the northern side of Moscow. Remember, the other one was kind of off in the south, I guess, uh, east side. But uh, you can kind of see here where they're located. We might be able to do a street view this time. So again, they're also on the very edge perimeter. The other company was right here, kind of just on the opposite side. And um, But maybe also kind of closer to the... Uh, downtown area and suburbs here you see a couple of notable attractions so we're gonna see if we can actually do a street view this time I'm not even sure if we'll be able to do it it kind of crashed on me last time 
and it looks like it might even crash again. Oh, geez, not working. Well, anyway, so um, uh, sometimes you can get street views on these, but uh, it's uh, basically over there. So um, you can kind of see just zooming out. And just some really interesting history here. Um, you know, a lot of these companies started around 1990s. And uh, looks like they were out of St. Petersburg, which is kind of close to uh, Finland, Sweden, and Norway. So you can see that they originally were working with uh, those areas. And this whole area of Russia is actually kind of in that same region. So uh, let me see, did I still have this open infrastructure? So yeah, it's kind of loading up. You can see the cell towers now. Um, it didn't load that up the first time, but uh, just amazing number of cell towers. And uh, each one of these, um, you know, it's just, uh, there's a lot of details in, inside of each one of these. Might even load up even more if I zoom in. So I'll just try to zoom in a little bit. So you can kind of see that area of the river that we were looking at. And it's just... Just a lot of stuff going on here, right? So you got the electrical lines. Um, and I'm going to see if I can turn off this just in case there's oil and gas listed in here. Um, but uh, but so basically this is mostly just power lines, I believe. And then the cell towers. Yeah, but it's really confusing. So it's like 50. I'm not even sure if this is 52 kilovolts or what's going on. So, uh, but... Uh, basically each one of these you can click on and find a little bit more detail I'm trying to not click on them just so it doesn't get annoying but uh, my uh, my computers kind of giving me some trouble here but but yeah so we can zoom out a little bit you can see some of the power stations and uh, and then some of maybe the bigger spots for in general cell phone uses so you can kind of see just what's going on and it's interesting um, yeah, it's just it's just really interesting just to, to kind of think about all the cell phone towers and what's going on um, here. And certainly, I'm not a big believer in lots of cell phones, um, and I'm not even sure what these dots are. These are probably um, power or something, just power substations. Okay, so there's just a whole lot of information here, but basically, we're looking at that big circle. So if I were to go back to uh, the other picture you can kind of see the, uh, the actual uh, the actual imagery so I'm gonna transition back and it's not super great right now but uh, let me see what I can do so basically that's the satellite imagery and it's a little bit annoying with all those place names so I'm gonna drop off those place names and now we can kind of see so if we transition back you can kind of see this little area here and this is that big loop for basically Moscow downtown and then if we zoom in we can start to see more of what's going on with uh, basically the cell towers and an internet so the internet obviously may be kind of directly related to the power lines um, at least that's what happened with the cable system in America to uh, so uh, or even phone landline power systems so uh, but uh, just overall really interesting I would say like up in here you can kind of see this here and then uh, some uh, kind of an interesting island that's hard to even see on the uh, other map huh yeah you can kind of see it on the other map but anyway so just a lot going on it's it's really worthwhile taking an Oprah info map and certainly trying to sort out so like this guy right here looks like a pretty operator telly too so that's interesting so I wasn't even gonna cover these guys but uh, since they have a really interesting spot so telly two is 10% of the market and we just noticed that this central spot here is a telly two station so you might say you know who's these guys it doesn't really say but uh, but sometimes you can see I guess showed on that one. So we'll just look at Telly 2 really quick. So this is Telly 2, um, and I even got their website loaded up, kind of a different look there, but pretty simple and strange. But uh, so showing some guy, but 
number of employees 7,000 and revenue in rubles so anyway all right so anyway we'll just close out here uh, kind of zoom back out and look at what's going on here in Moscow um, and it's just a lot of information um, a lot of just things going on so if you're really interested you want to get into the really nitty-gritty details you might grab this open info map um, and certainly the uh, MTC website the uh, Wikipedia one is really great it even talks about the other companies and perhaps how they're interrelated and then there's the different stock profiles so it looks like MTB is kind of or MTC is well they even have a different ticker symbol well, or MBT is the ticker but so yeah but anyway take a look at it uh, and let me know what you think if you got some interesting ideas you discover something uh, particularly the map here that'd be cool or even the uh, other map with uh, just looking at Moscow in general um, and surrounding areas certainly as a follow-up project you might ask well why aren't they doing anything over in st. Petersburg and uh, you know a lot of the people live here but there's some new areas of Russia too um, even in the Far East would be interesting um, to see um, you know just what's going on but anyway I hope you enjoyed the study